Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss Terrell. Thank you for tuning in to Esteem Queen and Mentality. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe down below. If you are new, hello. If you are returning, hello. Everyone is treated the same and equal. So, really quick, I gotta run out. But, I'm gonna have a quick, quick chat, right? And I'm gonna be as transparent as possible when I tell this story has a really good ending so this girl meets this guy and they just magnetically attracted to each other or more like better yet they're almost like a battery you know like you know like a device that needs batteries it's like one's negative and one's positive okay and so for for a, a time once upon a time, they were together. But just like anything that needs a battery, it begins to weaken. And so eventually, lights out and the device does not work. Or it just, it just doesn't work, right? So let's put all of that, the battery aspect of this thing, into the, mind, into the mindset or the perspective of a relationship. So, sorry, I'm getting text messages at the same time. So, so okay, I was in this relationship that was like a battery. Um, it had a positive side and a negative side. And ultimately, just like any battery, it runs out of energy, it runs out of juice. So, um, you find yourself in a place of how are, you, how are you going to take care of the situation? Are you going to recharge it, go through the same thing, knowing that it's going to die quicker? Or are you going to just get a whole new set of batteries for the uh, for the device that you're trying to use? So parallel that to life. In life, you're going to meet people that are going to be positive and you're going to meet people that are negative. Either way you look at it, um, I think it's um, it all depends on your strength as to what you're able to tolerate for a long period of time, which brings me to what I want to talk about, happiness. Um, Happiness is a very tricky thing to talk about because it's man-made, but it's the only thing that's man-made that is also curable by the same hands and the same mind that made it. So when it comes down to happiness... I will tell you this, happiness can be categorized, trust me when I tell you, in two categories, organic and inorganic. Organic being like, it's like second nature, you know, it's just like knowing two languages. Hola, como estas, mi bien, mi tu, ah, casada, si, si, muchas gracias, hey, how you doing, how you doing today, I'm good, I'm so, so, I'm tired, how are you, thank you for asking, you know what I'm saying, so... You have it that way, where it just comes to you. Like, it, they can just open the door and you like a child. Just just go run play, you know? Nothing feels like work. And then you have inorganic, which isn't bad, but it's a thing of, you know, you either had to learn by trial, tribulation, or just experience, or, or better yet, um, I want to say experience, because eventually it becomes a skill. And so it's an inorganic skill because you had to learn it it did not come naturally so when it comes down to what makes you happy um that's really the underlying factor of it what makes you happy it's not a thing of what gets you happy bitch what makes you happy so i think anything that comes like like natural to you something that makes you happy because your body will not move fluently with what it contrasts with for instance let's go back to the picture of when i had first met um, a person I was in a relationship with. You got to understand magnets um, attract. It has to be a positive side and a negative side, just like a battery. So have an understanding that your happiness, when, when, when you look at it being 50-50, 50 is 50, going to be on one side, 50 is going to be on the other, let your happiness be for you first. Okay, go back to those things that were organic for you to be able to do. If you love to paint, if you love to do poetry, if you love to walk, if hell, if you like to paint motherfucking rocks, go do it. 
is natural to you. That's what you like to do. That's what puts you in that calm, steady mood, that tranquil mood where can't nobody mess with you. It's just like that is your mantra. Get there. Get there. When you get there, but you keep in mind people are going to try to knock you off your rocker. That's going to put you in complete and straight up bliss because you're going to know what to let go of and you're going to keep what keeps you in peace. So know what naturally is a passion for you. Oh, I didn't mean to growl. Damn, I must really meant that. Okay, I'll say that again. Okay, do what you're passionate about. Do what comes naturally to you and know it. Explore it. I'm going to do something in the warrior community with um, with my um, entrepreneurship program called Dream. And we're going to break down what we can do to be able to manifest what we want naturally, man-made, because you're the only person that can get it. You're the only person that can fuck it up. And um, the other thing that I learned about happiness is that when I take it off of it being 50-50 in vain of someone else making me upset and taking away from my happiness, you know, I've learned that when you put some of your happiness into someone else, you nine times out of 10 still end up disappointed. Like, don't ever, like, yo, don't ever trade in your value for someone else's word or someone else's um, um empty promissory of like they can make you better oh if that don't burn me up like a wildfire someone being like you know what i can make you a better woman well you know what god can too and i don't see him i believe in him so so you telling me what you gonna make me into no you gonna make me into a walking headache and that's gonna bother my motherfucking happiness so you might want to keep it pushing. You know, sometimes it's cool for you to be that person to tell them to get an Altoid and kick it. It's cool. It helps you discover your happiness and continue to do what makes you happy. Um, be around positivity. I've learned that that has helped me a lot. Like I didn't know how supportive the circle I was in was until I got rid of everything or everybody that was like a battery where my happiness was 50% on them because I was already on the negative side of not having a full hundred to be able to keep a hundred with myself to say, yo, Miss Terrell, you do not need other people to make you happy. If you were born into this world by yourself is one person to be able to discover it for you. That's just like someone saying, well, if I were you, this will be what I'll do. No, you can't. You can't tell me what you'll do if you're me. Because you don't have my happiness. You're not trying to achieve my level of happiness. So what you can do for me is do not be that person that is on the plus side of the battery. Knowing that I'm already being drained. So at this point, when it comes to your happiness and what I've learned that really helped me with my happiness is when you want 50%. What are you going to do? Are you going to recharge your battery? Call them same people back over to have wine and cheese and paint and sip night. And they sit here and tell you about all their messed up problems, but how they can halfway fix them, but tell you how you, how you can fully cure your situation. Or you're just going to throw them all out and just like get a new set of batteries that can last longer and go through what you, you know, go through with you, whatever it is that you're going through and be there for you for the long haul. I don't know about you, but I like Duracells, not sunbeams. So when you have that type of circle around you, oh, let me tell you something about how God works, especially if they believe in God too. Oh, let me tell you how the Lord works. Your friend, get a car, don't be mad at them. Get excited because that means the Lord can just reach out, touch you. And you could be next. How you think people in line trying to buy lottery tickets feel? They see all them little tickets up on the wall. Oh, snap, I'm about to get me some. Yes. Be that way. And you'll find within your happiness, it's going to be so genuine. It's just going to be like you're going to wake up and just start giving devotionals to random ass strangers. Like, you know what? There is no star in the sky that shines as bright as you do. 
and it's true. So make sure that you go down below, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you tell everyone about this channel, Esteem Queen and Mentality. Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, all of our merchandise. Hit it, go to the website, and also check out our devotionals and our positivity giveaway. I will see you all soon.